If you like our video, click the button to subscribe to our channel and get easy access to new content. To see our full suite of ad-free video courses, instruction manuals, and quick reference guides, visit us at www.teachucomp.com. If you created your company file's chart of accounts using one of the business types listed in the setup screen of the Create a New Company wizard, then you likely have a full chart of accounts for a business. However, you may need to add, delete, or rename accounts in the default chart of accounts. You may also need to enter opening balances for the accounts as well. To add, delete, or rename specific accounts in the default chart of accounts, or add opening balances to accounts in Sage 50 Accounting, select Maintain Chart of Accounts from the menu bar to open the Maintain Chart of Accounts window. The Maintain Chart of Accounts window lets you add, rename, and delete accounts. You also use it to enter opening balances for accounts and prepare account budgets. Notice the toolbar at the top of the window. It contains buttons that let you add, edit, and delete accounts in your company file's chart of accounts. Use the Close, New, List, Save, Save and New, Delete, and Change ID buttons to view and modify the accounts. Below that toolbar, you can use the Account ID dropdown to identify the account by ID. The account ID can be up to 15 characters in length and alphabetic or numeric. You can use the Change ID button to change an account's ID. The Description field shows the description for the account. You can also use the Inactive checkbox to make the selected account inactive. To show an account's information in the Maintain Chart of Accounts window, click the Account ID dropdown, and then click Any ID to select it from the list and show its values in the fields in the Maintain Chart of Accounts window. To instead view a listing of all the accounts in your Chart of Accounts, click the List button in the Windows toolbar to open a separate account list in a new window. A small field help panel appears at the right side of all the Maintain windows like this one. This panel shows you information about the purpose and possible uses of whichever field is selected in the Maintain window. To collapse the panel, click the arrow button in its upper right corner. To expand it again and show the field information, click the Collapsed panel. To create a new account in Sage 50 Accounting, click the New button in the toolbar if needed. Then enter the account ID to assign to the account into the account ID field. Then enter the account description into the description field. And then select the account type from the account type dropdown. The first thing to provide to Sage50 is an account number or account code within the account ID field. Sage50 allows the use of both alphabetic and numeric characters in its account IDs. You should create an account numbering system that is both systematic and coherent. The account numbering system should also be easy for others to both use and understand. In a traditional general ledger, individual accounts are numbered and placed into numeric ranges, which we will review momentarily. This can be a helpful guide for establishing account numbers in Sage 50. In the 10,000 account range, you will find cash, accounts receivable, and assets. The 20,000 account range contains accounts payable and liabilities. The 30,000 account range contains equity accounts. The 40,000 account range contains income accounts. The 50,000 through 70,000 account range contains cost of sales and expense accounts. The 80,000 account range is used for other income accounts, and the 90,000 account range is used for other expense accounts. Sage 50's sample companies use account numbering schemes like the one previously mentioned. As you add more accounts, keep in mind a few rules about the account ID codes. First, you can use up to 15 characters. Second, you can modify account IDs after they've been created. 
Third, you can modify account descriptions at any time. Fourth, spaces between characters are allowed. Fifth, account numbers are sorted alphabetically, numbers first, then letters. Sixth, account numbers are not case sensitive. And seventh, there can only be one retained earnings account. Once you've entered an account ID, then type a description of the account into the description field. Descriptions can be changed at any time. After that, assign the account to one of Sage 50's account types by using the account type dropdown. They are accounts payable, accounts receivable, accumulated depreciation, cash, cost of sales, equity doesn't close, equity gets closed, equity retained earnings, expenses, fixed assets, income, inventory, long-term liabilities, other assets, other current assets, and other current liabilities. Remember to click the New button each time before you add a new account in the Maintain Chart of Accounts window, and to also click the Save button after creating each new account to save it into the list. Alternatively, you can save a step in this process by simply clicking the Save and New button instead. Remember to click the subscribe button to see more of our videos. See our full suite of courses, instruction manuals, and quick reference guides at www.teachucomp.com.